Yo, what up, what up? Yo, it's your boy Genghis Kaz, aka Kaz Controversy, aka the Brown Mamba. Salute. Hey, yo. Don't create ops, create opportunity. Let me say that again. Do not create ops, create opportunity. Stop worrying about the next man. Why? So much hate and jealousy in these streets, man. Can't even go outside and hang out no more in the corner or by the liquor store, nothing. Everybody worrying about what the next man got, what's in the next man pockets. If I was you, don't even if you take it, if you taking money out the ATM, go do it somewhere where niggas don't know you or something. You know what I'm saying? Or not even that. You can't. You gotta go. Be discreet about everything that you do. You got to move like a ghost because dudes, there's so much hate out here. And I understand there's a couple of reasons for that. Number one is because of poverty, man. Everybody broke out here in the hood, especially in the hood, man. From New York City to whatever, whatever hood you from, Atlanta, L.A., whatever, you know what I'm saying? There's a hood, there's a ghetto everywhere. There's a ghetto in London, there's a ghetto in China, there's a ghetto in... You know what I'm saying? Brazil, whatever. You young dudes, young generation, man. Stop being so ignorant, man. Educate yourself, man. Y'all put in that face. Y'all put in your face in that 48 law power book. The book of Satan. Yeah, the book of the Baphomet. Y'all read that. Y'all read that book and then think that. That you the best con artist in the world. Like you could that you could swindle, like you could swindle yourself into the White House or something. And go chill with Joe Biden or something. <laughs> Y'all out here creating ops and not opportunities. What are you doing, man? Start thinking, man. Yo. I don't understand where this, this, yo, it's so ignorant now, man. And I know, like I said, I know what it is. The, you know, people is not educated, man. And I'm not talking about going to school and learning about Christopher Columbus, because that's not, that's not education. That's not teaching you how to put a million dollars in your bank account. Nah, it's not that. I'm talking about real, search for real knowledge and wisdom, man. And stop following these dudes that speaking garbage, man. They snakes in the grass, man. You know what I'm saying? Too much hate out here, man. Like I said, you can't even... Yo, if you a dude, they, yo, you up a little bit. You, you know, whether it's from a lawsuit, whether it's from hustling, or whether it's from busting ass in a nine to five, you can't even rock a piece of jewelry on without dudes being on your body, man. Niggas, niggas, is, niggas hate so much, man, they be on you like... Like like white on rice, like like flies on shit, like like maggots on a corpse. And that's probably what that means. You're a dead man walking, man. You can't even be in your own community. Can't even live in society looking right, man. You gotta you gotta do it on the low because dudes is out here starving. Then they got that saying where they say, yo, you gotta feed the feed the wolves. You gotta feed what wolf? You gotta feed nobody, man. If you want to do something from the heart, then you do it for the heart because you're a good person. Not because you got to feed the wolves. You grown-ass men out here, man. You know you know what it is? You, you live, y'all living in your second childhood. You ever heard that song from Nas? He's in the second childhood. That's what it is, man. Grown-ass dudes. Man, I see it all the time, man. When I, when, I, when, I, when I come by the hood, what I see, I be seeing grown men. The one you call OGs. Grown ass men taking the young dudes, 18 years old, even 16. I've seen it, man. Underage niggas. Y'all that niggas passing them blunt. That niggas is like 40 plus years old. Passing little niggas blunts and giving them alcohol and pills and, and even coke and all that shit. Then you preaching to them, talking about yo, yo, this is real. This is this, you gotta move like this out here, and this and that. Leading them right into the depths of hell. And that's all it is, is a chain reaction. Everybody, everybody's following the Pied Piper right now. Yeah, yo, I, dudes is dying at a fast rate, man. Faster than ever. I don't even watch the news because it's depressing, man. All you hear is death, death. Like I said it before, man. It's sad, man. It's really sad, man. 
Best thing you can do is man, build that foundation for, for you and your family or for yourself. Because if you, you know, I know that's, that's uh, uh, what you say, uh, you're the black sheep of the family. I know that there's a lot of us out here like that. You know what I'm saying? You got, you got left out. You know what I'm saying? But you got to get it for you, man. You know? And you ain't got to do it the wrong way neither. Don't let them fool you, man. There's a lot of things we could do, man. Create opportunity, man. You got technology. You could do videos. You could... You know, and you don't got even got to do that, man. Go get your education. You could get, you could get a college degree, man. Go become a doctor, a lawyer, a scientist, whatever. You could create your own app. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to depend on Facebook, man. You could create your own social media, man. That's real talk. You could become a billionaire if you want, you know? You got to follow these dudes and, and, and be like them. Talk about pay, pay. Man, these dudes is crazy, man. You know, I'm really tired of hearing all that, man. All that. You know what I'm saying? I be watching these dudes. I be seeing these dudes' YouTube channels. And I be seeing, I be seeing all that that goes on on social media. Everybody chasing clout, doing the buffoonery. The craziest shit that I've ever seen, man. And I remember before this smartphone. Man, life was so much more simple, man. Things was always going down, but it wasn't. What's going on now? Yo, this shit is like at a, uh, this old time high. You know, they say that we in the last days, man. Maybe it's true. Because what I see is this, this, this is out of control out here, man. Trust me, things happened to me. I had to learn. This is why I want to turn me into what I'm doing now. Because I got tired of the hate, man. I was getting to, look, I came home. My last bit I did, it was in uh, September. I came home September 13th. I, I, I came home on the day of Tupac's death, man. Death anniversary, man. I came home September 13th. Of 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 uh, twenty nineteen, man. And I try to go back to the hood. I was like, all right. I was happy to be, you know, have my freedom. And uh, uh, I started to get back up. You know, I was, you know, I was doing me. And dudes that was hanging out there for years, for years. So how fast? Like I, did, I was doing it in, in a matter of weeks. I was already coming up fast. Dudes ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? I started drinking with dudes out in the hood. Then they was waiting for me to get intoxicated and try to sneak thieve me and all that. You know, you know, a nigga get twisted. You, you, you think you could trust the niggas around you because they from your hood or whatever. Then you, they, they go in, you know, you, you snap out of it a little bit. Then all of a sudden you see money missing. You see work missing. You see, you know, your phone might be gone. You can't trust none of these dudes, man. Niggas are starving out here, man. They, 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 they bunch of broke, ignorant, Simpletons, man. They don't, you know, they, they, they know, they know lesser than the straight dogs on the street. Stop creating ops, create opportunity, man. Y'all here shooting each other up, yo. I see twelve year olds, thirteen year old. Look at that thirteen year old that just—I think he was fifteen. That fifteen year old that just killed that eleven year old girl, man. Straight bullet out here in the Bronx, man. Simpson Ave, man. Used to used to go smoke blunts and, and drink in that park, crazy over there. You know what I'm saying? Come on, son. Lay low, man. We in times now, man. Don't even, don't even, son, do your thing, man. Do what you got to do to get money and, and, and stay to yourself, man. Don't even hang outside no more with these dudes, man. Stay in your own lane. Create. Use your brain. I'd rather create than to be standing in the corner all day long with these fools, man. I used to be that. I used to be that when I was in my teens and early 20s. Every day outside getting drunk, doing, selling drugs, doing this, doing that. Bugging out every day. Then I had to wake up after all these things started happening. I said, damn, man, I had to learn the hard way, man. I had to, after all the fights and, and, and getting jumped and all, all kind of things happened to me. My life, my life is, is, is a movie, man. But, you know, whatever. That's another conversation another day. If you ever want to know about me, maybe we could do that one day. But this is not what I'm doing this for. I'm not here to chase clout, man. Fuck clout. Fuck fame. I'm speaking out now. I'm, letting, I'm doing all this now to wake people up, like, like. Like, shout out to Hassan Campbell, man. I, you know, I, when I first seen that dude's videos, I didn't even like him for some reason. He brought me the wrong way. And so I gave him a chance. I started to, to really pay attention to him. I said, let me see what this dude talking about. And, yo, he's really reaching out to the youth, man. He's really, really, really. He might he might say in certain ways. It might rub people the wrong way, you know, with the with his little quotes and phrases. But, you know, it's real. It's real what he's saying, man. And I respect him, man. Salute. Hassan Campbell, man. South Bronx. You already know. You know, 
Keep this short and simple, man. Stop creating ops, man. That 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 demon time shit. It's the most stupidest shit I ever heard, man. I hate even. I'm, I'm, you would never hear me saying that, man. I'm on demon time. Like I follow Jesus Christ, brother. Y'all 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 toasting the the Baphomet salad. <laughs> Demon time, these little niggas out here. Demon time. This is my block. Yo, yo, deep on gang, on gang. And that's another, you know what's another phrase I hear when they be like, on guard. You a little specimen in this world. Who is you to even say, yo, I put this on guard? You stupid. Man, listen, man. Move smarter, man. Y'all making it. Your life is hard because you making it hard, man. What's the hood doing for anybody? Out here talk about putting in work. Putting in work for what? What work? Are you getting paid for it? For what? For respect or for some, some knucklehead that probably might kill you one day? Huh? Man. Creating ops. I talk about ops. You, 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 you. Look how that sounds, man. Y'all saying y'all hate police and I'm a thug, I'm a gangster. We again. Oh, let me mention something else about that. That gangster shit. And y'all talk about. And I'm talking to my black people now, cause I'm black, my I'm Puerto Rican and black. I, I can say this, man. Y'all talk about this gangster shit, this thug shit. Who you think came out here with all that, man? The back in the nineteen, the early nineteen hundreds and all that. The, the the Irish and the and the Italians and all them when they migrated here, they was on that shit, creating gangs and 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 and, and creating mafias and all that. They was on that gangster shit, and then. Our people started to follow all that. So think about it. Who, 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 who's controlling your mind? Who you trying to be? You trying to be like them? You trying to be like I, I don't want to be like the white man. White man is white man that. Y'all following they shit. They program all of y'all. Wake up, man. You in the dream world, man. You you, you chilling. You chilling in Elm Street, man. Stop creating ops. Create opportunities, man. One.